as of Sunday 29th August and for the next two weeks we are not going to change the curfew but we are going to put these additional measures in place and I'm asking Barbadians I asked you last week to meet me halfway I can meet you halfway you meet me halfway because this is now a marathon not a sprint so that as of Sunday 29th August we are going to have to prohibit all visits to nursing homes and elderly care hospitals elderly care citizens, senior citizens homes geriatric hospital the dis, this the district hospitals persons will be allowed to drop off packages the packages will be sanitized but you're gonna have to stop, stop the visiting I have asked the officers to see where we can use wherever possible electronic media iPads FaceTime WhatsApp video we know them all but we don't want people to be deprived of the comfort of their family or the pictures of their family um, in fact when I went to the geriatric hospital this week I had to send a virtual hug and a selfie to a constituent of mine who's 102 years old and who recognized me and, and sent messages to me so I understand the emotion that goes with it but I'm asking us for now let us protect them let us drop off the packages and let us do the electronic visits where possible similarly in accordance with the recommendation of the EOC and the CMO all church services now including funerals and weddings will be limited to 25 persons and there will be a mandatory six foot spacing between persons sitting outside of their immediate bubble of family the length of the service or the ceremony will now be limited to 90 minutes as a result one and a half hours similarly meetings of fraternal societies private or social clubs civic associations organizations after from Sunday will be limited to 25 persons graduations and receptions will be prohibited for now this is not forever and I've already been informed by the Minister of Education that a lot of the graduations have in fact been virtual and that it has gone down well for many people bars and rum shops let me talk we are going to keep you open but I am appealing I talking straight to the owners now to the proprietors we don't want consumption inside of the premises where possible let people come and buy what they want if you have outdoor capacity or capacity that is well ventilated by all means but we don't want people standing up in a shop liming and drinking as they would normally have done in the past and in fact I want to speak particularly to those who traditionally do that step outside we have allowed you to continue to have outdoor gatherings up to 20 persons but this is now about me talking to you or the Prime Minister talking to you this is about us doing the right thing for each other because whether we like it or not I can't save you from the virus if you put yourself in harm's way outdoor gatherings as I indicated last Saturday is limited to 20 persons hikes will continue but there will be no socializing before or after the hike and we would prefer that hikes go off in groups of only a hundred persons so if you had 200 in that hike break it into two hikes you know many hands make light work so if we had 300 in the hikes break it into three hikes and start in a staggered way but what we don't want is people socializing up under each other in large numbers after it and certainly not beyond the 20 that we referred to earlier Pleasure Craft will continue at the 50% capacity and all indoor sports are prohibited at this time. Non-contact outdoor sports, however, will be permitted. The number of athletes participating in outdoor sports should be limited to 20 persons, but in the instance where that particular sport requires more than 20, like with cricket, for games or practice, the, uh, the approval of the COVID-19 monitoring unit must be given. I know that the cricketers have already secured that from them. Bottom line, my brothers and sisters, who are you really talking to? I'm talking to the business owners who may not be enforcing their protocols, especially as strongly as they should be in lunchrooms and in warehouses and in the precincts outside where people just gathering to gaff and talk. I'm talking to employees and workers 
who are not adhering to the protocols, especially in those rooms that I just talked about. And because you feel that you know somebody so well that you could take down your mask, you know them well, them is your brethren, them is your sister, and they're good with you, may even be family and all. But we don't have a sign on us saying COVID. We just can't see it. So the only way you can protect yourself is by doing it yourself and making sure that you treat yourself as being COVID positive and everyone else around you as being COVID positive. And especially if you are not vaccinated, especially if you are not vaccinated.